As promised, I'm going to start doing some tutorials on some things that I think would be really good for you to have at festivals. And the first one is going to be a water bottle holder. Uh, in my opinion, a super essential item because it means you can just carry around your one reusable bottle all weekend over your shoulder and it's not in your way, really easy to get to, um, and it's a fun, colourful accessory for you to make. Uh, really easy as well, so you don't even need a sewing machine, you can stitch this by hand if you wanted to. And all you need is a strong, um, colourful or whatever strap. This should be one metre thirty centimetres long. And then two pieces of elastic like this, um, which are 23 centimetres long. And a lighter. So the first thing you're going to do is you take your strap. So the fabric that you want to buy for this needs to be something fairly strong and durable because you're going to have it over your shoulder the whole time and you want something that's going to be able to last and not fall apart. Um, but a lot of these are made with a polyester based fabric which does mean that it's a bit stronger and you want to sear the ends of this so you don't have to um, end up doing like a nice hem which can be kind of tricky on this fabric. So you can take a lighter and just melt off the end of it like this. See that will stop the fabric from fraying. you can see the fabric edges have already disappeared. And on the other end too. And whilst you're at it, you can do this with your um, elastic pieces as well. So just melt the ends of them. This stops the uh, thread on it fraying away. So you've got your ends, you can do that on your other piece as well. Um, the next thing you're going to do is stitch these together. Okay, so you want to take the two ends of your strap and cross them over about this much, pin it into place and then when you stitch this up you're going to stitch it in a cross, across here across this square and around the edge of the square type shape. This means that it's just a lot stronger than just stitching around the edges of it. And now it's time to do the same with the two pieces of elastic. So again, just cross them over into this square type shape, pin in place, there you go, so these are ready. You want to do two of these and then we're ready to put it into the strap. So for the next stage we're going to get the bottom of the water bottle holder. This is where your bottle will sit against the bottom um, and attach the elastic into it. So you want to measure about three inches from the bottom and that's where you'll put your first piece of elastic in. So you can get it there and pin it into place. All right, there we have it, those guys are stitched in. Now to pin the other ones on to the other side. Okay guys, there we have it, that is it. You have now got your water bottle holder. Super easy, super simple to make. If you're an experienced sewer, I think it would take you maybe like 10, max 15 minutes. Um, if you're more of an amateur, maybe half an hour, but you don't even need a sewing machine to do it because there's not that much sewing involved. It's just the crosses on the um, band and the elastic and then stitching them into place. Super, super easy and just really convenient. So here's my water bottle. This is actually a really, a really tiny one. 
um, and this one fits in here. So you just pop it between your two elastic pieces and then you're good to go. Over the shoulder, yes, this one even kind of goes with today's outfit, which I'm into. Um, but because of the way it's built and the elastic, it means you can fit lots of different size bottles in. Um, I just found this in the studio, it's not mine, but uh, maybe I'll have some later. Uh, this is a litre. I haven't actually tried to fit this in yet, but I'm confident that it will go in. So, yeah, there we go. A litre glass bottle also fitting in your holder nicely. So, yeah, you can use different size bottles and, of course, it doesn't have to be water. It can be a litre of vodka if that's, uh, if that's your triple for the day. <laughs> but, yeah. Really convenient, um, and I want to see you guys making them, and I would like you to take some pictures and send them to me. We'll add them to the highlights, and it will help inspire other people to make their own. Yay! So whilst I have this all set up, I'm going to show you how to make a slightly different one as well. Uh, I found this really fun trim in a shop in Berlin, and um, I think, I mean, this is just so LOM, right? Uh, but it's only patterned on one side. So I bought double the amount and I've cut it in half and what I'm going to do is stitch them together so that I've got pom-poms on both sides. Like this. Alright, of course I couldn't find any black thread uh, in my studio in Berlin. So I've used neon orange but that's kind of okay because it means...